Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 65 of Two Point Hospital. So in the last episode uh, we expanded uh, into this wing here and I've actually done a little bit of rearranging to kind of move things out of the way. Uh, I do need to try and fit in a staff room around here somewhere and potentially a toilet. So this, this room might have to move, uh, the training room. And we could maybe just have a little training room there I suppose. But I have actually now placed in uh, an injection room, uh, although we do need to just close this at the minute because we need to do uh, our upgrade and that will count towards our 10 machine upgrades. Uh, and then we just need to do two more and I don't think we've got any more. Oh, we've got one more on the go. So then we just need to upgrade one more machine. Oh, okay, what could we upgrade? What could we do? Um... We can't do the helixer again. We, we're doing the jab master. We can't do the deluxe clinic again because we've done that. We can't do the discharger. We could do the heart racer or the easy scan. Maybe we could do the easy scan because that room's not really actually being used much, is it? Hmm. Have we still got a ghost in here running around? Because. Um, Everyone's going nuts. Where is it? If, if we do still have a ghost, where is it? <laughs> maybe maybe someone's come and captured it now. Uh, right, let's just have a quick look. So we need a... Oh, look at that. Dahlia Gamgee, a motivated and natural mentor, DNA treatment doctor. <gasps> and comes with Kung Fu Grip. <laughs> right, we're going to hire you um, to replace Forbes because Forbes um, is nasty and we want rid of Forbes. So we'll have you and you, Mrs. or oh, Miss, whatever you would like to be, uh, in the DNA lab only. Uh, and as soon as Forbes is done, oh, treating the patient, perfect, uh, we can get rid of Forbes. Um, oh, do we, do we keep Forbes as a trainer? Potentially. Maybe. Let's just take Forbes out of there anyway. Forbes, you no longer belong uh, in there. Oh no, look at this. This is really bad. I keep seeing loads of really low health. And they're not even diagnosed fully yet. Hmm. Okay. Oh, our GP's office has got a bit of a queue. Oh, that's not good. <gasps> So's our reception. Oh, no. Oh, where, where have you gone? Oh, okay. We need some more receptionists as well, don't we? So let's have a look. Oh, that's ours. <laughs> not going to get very far with that, am I? Uh, cheese for brains, hangry and charming. Or oh, wants more money and nasty. Oh. Well, we're a bit desperate at the minute, so we seem to have no one at our news agents and no one uh, at that reception desk. Um, now, I was sure that people wandered in from this way, and now I'm starting to think, because I've seen them leave that way, but I'm starting to think that I've got it wrong and that they don't, it might not be this hospital that they do that, you know. But, I mean, he's leaving that way. But does anyone arrive that way? And that's the question. Because if, if they don't, then we don't need that reception desk. So we'll keep an eye on that. Right, we need to cure two more uh, in DNA. We've just finished upgrading a machine. Uh, so that's cool. That must be uh, our jab master. Awesome. So that can now be opened. Uh, and let's get our easy scan uh, upgraded as well and then that'll be our machines done then we just have to hope for the best with our cure rate um, and treat one more patient in DNA <gasps> yay well done Dahlia Gamgee I like you uh, right let's have a look terribly dull girl next door short temper right let's get rid of those uh, doctor 
Mm, charming. Befriends quadrupeds. Terribly dull, hygienic. Uh, and high energy. Well, this dude, Warwick Beardsley, as much as they're annoying with research. Oh, I'll tell you what, no, let, let's just. As a, I don't want to use Forbes, um, but we will have to. Uh, so let's open this one. And this one um, is going to be treatment only. Uh, so actually, Forbes, you need to go in the other one. Uh, in there. Uh, and you need to go work in that one. I think you did. And this needs to be uh, diagnosis only. Cool. Uh, shock horror emergency. Can we cope with that, do you think? Who have we got? Argumentative Beatrice Bape. Uh, <laughs> mm. You need to go for a break, don't you? And actually, you need training. So maybe we, that should wait. Ooh, special report. Oh, we cured three out of five of our DNA flumps patients, so that's not bad. Uh, injection room required. We, we've got one. We've got one right there. Haven't we? That is an injection room, isn't it? Yeah. So we just need um, the nurse with injection, which I was going to say is this one, and they've gone into... Oh, they've gone into the fluid analysis room. <laughs> no! Bad nurse. <laughs> Get in there. We're going to have that with doctors as well, aren't we? Treatment. Right, not a GP, not an x-ray. Just those three. Thank you. Um, we need some better GPs, don't we? <gasps> I should have just done a normal doctor campaign, I think. I think we'll do that next. Next room. We'll do a normal um, campaign. So I tried to move uh, in between episodes, I tried to move the fracture ward over to here and without making it the whole massive space uh, and then I might not have room for a staff room. It just uh, didn't quite work. So I think we're just going to have to put up with uh, a smaller one, unfortunately. What's wrong with you? An 80%? Oh, that's not good. Okay, can we get them? Oh, they're already at the top of the queue. Okay. At least that's something. We're going to need another GP's office. I can't believe it. This isn't good. <laughs> How many have we got? Three. Why is three not enough? Three should definitely be enough. And um, we've lost our... Oh, we don't have a nurse for fluid analysis. Great. Ugh, unhygienic. Uh, could be worse. <laughs> but I think unhygienic actually lowers the health of your patients. Okay, we're going to go with this one because they've got green fingers and they mean well. So... <laughs> They'll have to do for now, but we're not going to let them go um, into pharmacy. It's really frustrating when you have to kind of hire people like this. In this county is making us culturally irrelevant. We will never be taken seriously until we remedy the situation. So join me tomorrow as we march into Crockenbush and demand the mayor build one. In the meantime, here's an overture to get us in the mood. Doctor wanted in shock clinic. Hmm. Starting to think the genetics, um, the doctors with genetics marketing was a bit pointless. Oh, oh, is it finished already? Oh, no, it hasn't. I was going to say, why is the little icon gone? Oh my word, we only need to upgrade two machines! <gasps> and then we're at two stars! Oh, cool. Awesome. That's it, you get upgrading. Maybe we should 
see into these rooms better. Like you could, an option to put the, these walls down. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? Or an option to look into the eyes of that person and go into like first person view. That'd be cool. I've gone to water the plant. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, maybe we should actually do a little bit of a maintenance run. Um, like that plant desperately needs watering, doesn't it? Our machinery is not terrible, but I don't want to pull our, our janitors away from upgrading. So hopefully they won't just wander off. Oh, is that room still shut? No. Hey, what? Why does that not? Oh. That's weird. It doesn't show up as like this, look, green or yellow. It's just a clown clinic. Huh? Maintenance announcement. Automated snack machines need restocking <laughs> Okay. Uh, we've got a health inspection. Oh great. Henry Jobsworth. Do you really have to? <laughs> oh look. Oh no, they're there. Wrong machine. I thought they'd gone then. <laughs> have we have we done the other one? <gasps> we have! Oh my word, we're just waiting on this machine! Oh that's ace! Oh that's so cool. Uh, oh! Ah look, see? I wasn't wrong! Yes! <laughs> Patients do arrive that way. Oh thank goodness, because because look, there's a, there's another one down at the bottom. Right. Oh, cool. Okay, I thought I was going mad uh, for a moment, but I'm not. It is actually that they come from that way as well. Uh, right, we need to do a doctor campaign, I think. Unhygienic, thanks to Ahu. Please try to look healthy. Oh. This is Sir Nigel Reviews. Today, I wish to talk about Let There Be Lamps, the new lamp shop on Stumpy Lane. With over 20,000 varieties of lamps, you won't find a wider selection anywhere. Unfortunately, the light they emit will no doubt lay bare just how drab your little homes are. So perhaps a candle will suffice for most listeners. Okay, so we need, we desperately need another GP, I think. Uh, and actually some better GPs, just in general. Um, I don't want that one. Oh, what's the next nurse going to be? Anything good? <gasps> a positive diagnosis nurse. Yes, that is awesome. Uh, right, let's have a look. Um, actually, have we got any pay reviews? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I thought I'd best just check that. Um, right, we've got a rubbish... Oh, we've got a litterer. We've got unhygienic. And green fingers. Hangry and stupid. Fantastic. Um, okay. I think. Oh, but they are a positive entertainer. Apparently, they're gonna. They're going to vomit. Why? And nauseous. Nauseous. Why are they nauseous? And they've got the sniffles. Oh, it's I bet that's because they're unhygienic, you know. Right, okay. Unhygienic. Uh, diagnosis nurse going gone fantastic uh, oh um, that wasn't what I wanted there's a nurse right there what you've got no skills <gasps> oh no treatment failed so we need right we've got one two three diagnosis rooms and we've got one two four diagnosis nurses but two that need to go so how about we train that one in diagnosis and one we can borrow not really anyone worth borrowing not really no okay we're just gonna have to go with um, a proper trainer Right, who can we hire? 
Two more days for a, a doctor. Okay. How about assistance? We haven't checked that in a bit. Oh, Positive thinks their life is a rom-com. Could borrow them. We can have them. Let's check the doctors again. Oh no! Come on, we want a, we need a GP. We do need a GP, and we need a better DNA doctor for the diagnosis. One. Actually, there's no diagnosis patients going there, is there? That's weird. <gasps> oh no! Okay, quick health run. Okay, I've had to send a few lower health patients home that aren't going to be diagnosed, unfortunately. Um, oh no, Henry Jobworth is here. I forgot about him. Where's he going? Oh, he's just arriving. Okay. Let's get some maintenance done on some of these things that are worse. Oh no. Okay, sell that plant. Let's just get another one. Oh, I'm that one. No, I'm that one. I know that's so cheating, but <laughs> I think it's worth losing that little bit of money just to uh, quickly fix them. It probably means we need more janitors. I'm sick of hiring people. <laughs> That's all I do. Uh, oh, I thought they might have been good then. Benedict Cat. Unmotivated and grumpy, but three in research. Aww. Uh, no one good. No one good, because we, we can't even train them. Like, um, It would just be pointless. Um, we'll work for peanuts. Oh, I'll tell you what, we'll have you. Because I think we do need another janitor, to be honest. No, we've got seven. Yeah, that's actually quite low for me, to be fair. <laughs> oh dear, right, come on, we just need to upgrade one more machine and get our cure rate up another 10%. Announcement. Bins will become full. We don't seem to have any patients going to be cured. Like, what's going on? Oh, he seems quite happy at the minute. Uh, visiting the GP's office. Okay. Which one? I'm guessing it's one of these. How are they doing? You're listening to Nigel Bickleworth. On two point that's point. Video. Have I got everywhere temperature? People right? really ought to stop complaining about Jumbo Corp simply because they happen to be the best and most successful company around. I myself am no stranger to this very kind of envy, which can cause other less talented DJs to lash out. My response? Let's play some more music. Hmm. Okay, that area looked quite cold, but um, apparently we don't need a radiator there. Fair enough. We're not doing too bad, are we? Oh, what's that bit of land, isn't it? Oh yeah, there's that plot there. Oh, and that one. But that's not one. See, that one would be good for like your research and stuff, wouldn't it? Way out of the way. Um. Well, if you have patients coming in here, you could have GP's offices here as well. Such a weird hospital. Really weird hospital, this one. How are we doing for hygiene? That's that one. Everything looks fairly green, apart from the patients themselves. Um, oh, you're not. Low hygiene, sniffles and heavily soiled. There's plenty of hand sanitizers around. Why are the bins so brown? They're not... Hmm. Are all the bins brown? Maintenance needed in a staff room. 
kind of. Huh. Weird. I think we're doing alright for... Relatively alright for hygiene. There's not... I don't think there's a lot we can do with these patients because I don't think we can particularly send them... Like, make them go and use the hand sanitizer, can we? Or... Uh, there's plenty of sinks in the toilets and things like that. Uh, right, we've got a electrical storm. Uh, an electrical storm again. Uh, so let's just quickly check our machinery. But I think we're pretty good. Uh, because I did just go and repair everything. Awesome. So we're just waiting on this machine. Ah! And also uh, to get our cure rate up. Uh, which hopefully we will do soon. Let's have another look see what doctors we've got. <gasps> Oh no! Motivated and nasty. I thought we had a GP then. Oh. I'm gonna get rid of those. Uh, I don't want any of them either. Oh, I thought that was going so well. Uh, but apparently not. Oh no! There's our electrical storm. Oh, this is gonna make him. Why does this have to happen while we've got an inspection on? If you're feeling ill, the last thing you want to do is pump your body full of cheap artificial medicine. Okay, I'm gonna borrow you straight so away. Stay at a holistic hospital where our natural remedies are so expensive. Need to look out for things that need repairing for you. Holistics, where you can only hope it sticks. Starting two point cloudy. This is two point radio. Okay. <laughs> oh, look at the state of it up there. Oh no, look at that plant. Oh, and now we probably do need to maintain our machinery. Oh, that's nearly upgraded. So close. Oh, he's leaving. Oh no, I don't want to know what his decision is. I really don't. They seem to always fail his at the minute. But this hospital's horrible. <laughs> I'm blaming meltdowns, okay? I'm gonna have a meltdown over it. It's horrible hospital. <laughs> horrible. <laughs> Can we move on now, please? <laughs> oh man, we've got to get through another star rating yet. <laughs> Okay, let's get this on a little bit faster. Oh my word, look, look at this. Look at all these people everywhere. Right, this, this room needs upgrading, doesn't it? We need to get a better diagnosis nurse. Oh no, look at that. There's even a queue in there now. Oh, 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 interesting. Uh, oh, wants more money, hygienic, and has potential, but you, my dear. Uh, oh no, that one's hangry and stupid. That one's funny and illiterate. Well, we're going to have to cope with the litterer, uh, I think, unfortunately. That one's green fingers and has got pharmacy. Where'd the other one go? Another one. I thought we got a better one. There, charming. Ooh, promote. Really? <gasps> Ooh, interesting. Oh, that's the one we've just um, we've just trained up. Right, we need you to train in diagnostics too. Uh, and we're gonna get this guest trainer back again. And we're gonna also train. Right, that's the stupid one because <laughs> their learning speed's eighty three percent. Roger Lemon, I think we're just gonna have to. We're just gonna have to borrow you. I don't. I don't care anymore. Let's just let's just get our diagnosis nurses in training, um, and potentially we might just have to make this like edit the room slightly. I've always said electricity was a bad thing. To all those who scoffed at me, spare the thought for the poor souls in a hospital currently under siege from an electrical storm. 
Yeah. Uh, right, we need... Oh! Oh, we could move our pharmacy and put another GP's office there. <gasps> Ooh, interesting. Or we could put one here. We could definitely move the pharmacy, though. But where? Where could we move pharmacy to? Hmm. It'd have to come all the way over here, wouldn't it? Oh, I hate this hospital. <laughs> I'm just going to keep saying it. I hate it. <laughs> it's horrible. <laughs> we could make this room a bit smaller. Could we? Oh, no, it'd take up... It'd go up to here, wouldn't it, if we put the pharmacy here? Next to that. thought about putting it here, putting something there, but then... Oh, it could go in that little space, I suppose. Actually, it's probably best uh, that I end this part here and I'll try and find a new space uh, for our pharmacy uh, in between episodes. Uh, but I really hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe. Uh, and I hope to see you again soon.